Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Watch TV, man. Uh, first things first, y'all gonna have to excuse me. I am fucking cold. And no, I'm not turning on my heat yet. I refuse. Anyway, um, so I've been kind of frustrated this week because that whole um, Britney Rayner video uh, came out and I did a reaction to it. And whatever production company, podcast, whatever, whatever company that Academics uh, is a part of, they blocked my video twice um, after I tried to post it. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to just make a video and talk about it very briefly because I hate repeating myself. <laughs> so I'm going to try to make this as brief as possible because the interview was just, ugh anyway but before we get into it please do me please do me a favor and do not forget to share like and subscribe it really helps out the channel and as usual i appreciate it but let's just go ahead and get into this interview i want to give you guys my thoughts right so in the beginning of the interview first of all let me just say this uh academics was not the right person to do this interview um there weren't any you know like the way that he went about things was just kind of corny uh to me personally even though some of the things of what he said was funny like about being the side chick um i kind of hate that academics has a platform and it's it's just funny that he is questioning this and don't get me wrong i am not a fan of Brittany rayner at all i do not like her i said this before this woman is a pure succubus who is just looking out for the, you know for the next check but I will say this academics was not the person to to interview her it, it was weird it was like this academics has clout right but that's all he has like I, it was like he was talking down to her and i'm just like but bro you know look at you but you know what at the same time i think that's why people love dj academics because he's like for oh for the same reason that people love fresh and fit right they're like they're champions for all of the pretty women and all of the unattain unattainable women that have you know pretty much uh, rejected them to hear them and see them talk down to any type of woman like that and to kick them out of studios and you know insult them they get some sort of satisfaction from that so they champion people like fresh and fit and academics so now that i think about it that makes a whole lot of sense but anyway that's neither here nor there so britney rayner she started off the interview uh with the clip that i saw anyway or reacted to and she was basically saying that i don't understand why you guys are giving him the victim card and i've been saying this guys i've been saying this all along pj washington is not a victim he fucking knew better people told him he did not listen i don't know if the young man didn't have guidance or what but she was literally showing up to his basketball games when he was in fucking college i'm sorry i i hear what she's saying but that part is is low-key predatory i'm sorry anyway um she basically start, started off uh, with saying, you know, I don't understand why everybody's giving him the victim card. You know, you were, he, he was grown. You wanted to fuck with me. So you you fucked with me. And he she basically said he wanted to bust a nut in me. And he did. And he knew the consequences. And now we have a baby. And I 1000% agree with her on that point. Because what the fuck? She has been on track. On the internet on bill gates internet i'm not gonna say beyonce i hate when people say that shit he has <laughs> he has been on the fuck i mean she has been on the fucking internet basically saying how you know athletes are stupid and uh it, it's easy to come up off of a check you know just get pregnant by an athlete because they don't like to wear condoms blah 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 yada 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 all of these things were on record they weren't hidden you didn't have to dig for them if you google if you google her name right now that is one of the videos that pops up immediately so sir what the fuck were you thinking you made your bed now you have to lie in it 
And the, the only issue is there's a baby in that bed. So, yeah, you are tied to that woman for life. By the way, I watched more of that goddamn interview because, the like I said, the segment that I watched was just, you know, an eight-minute clip. But what? This chick has a real God complex. She said that she <laughs> it's not really a trap that you know she's getting child support from him like he should basically saying that he should be grateful and the fact that she is his baby mama that's giving him good karma because she's a good person what a god complex holy shit you think highly of yourself girl um wow yeah that shit blew my mind but let's get let's get back to the uh to the uh, segment that i reacted on because a lot of interesting things were said so she said if a man were to date a younger woman i you know heads wouldn't necessarily be t be turned and basically saying the standards aren't are not the same you know she's basically seen as a predator preying on young men well when you go to their basketball games and you end up openly dating them even if it's a year afterwards that looks kind of sketchy and the things that you said in your videos why wouldn't i believe that you're trying to come up off of a check i mean come on here here is my issue with her she lacks self-awareness you have to bro you have to see how this looks you have to see how that looks and i don't know if she was you know talking about coming up off a check from a basketball player in jest but it's out there she said it so you have to be self-aware you have to understand why people are saying the things that they are saying it's because of your actions things that you tweeted things that you said things that you've done academics did say this you literally made a book about you know a bunch of niggas that that you fucked like bro your actions <laughs> you have to understand you have to be more self-aware things look shysty with you i'm i'm sorry things look extremely shysty so you have to have a little bit of self-awareness because uh um, again what the fuck you just got lucky because pj washington is just so happy to be, just so happened to be stupid go figure lucky you um yeah so oh also another thing that didn't help her just like three weeks ago she tweeted a picture of her on a college campus and said i think was it jackson state or something like that jackson state hi uh hide your sons like what the fuck I, yes people are calling you a predator these guys are not even fucking in their 20s yet they're like 19 18 you're being fucking weird that is very weird and like you want to groom them or something and she just kept saying how she's a she's a good person and yada yada but first of all if you were a good person you would not take that child you would not take that man's money all right you would not have put him on child support because let's be honest it seemed like he was going to take care i don't know this man personally myself but if he was that great of a guy to the point where you were willing to have a baby by him you did not have to put that man on child support for all that fucking money that that was the end goal for you that was the end goal uh you chase a check you chase a check and that's my that's my problem with Brittany. she's a literal succubus all right um <laughs> so one of the last things that i wanted to talk about uh academics actually said this and i thought it was funny but come it wasn't right coming from him because you know he's he's a regular old fat dude with some clout all right now if this was a man with some status maybe i would understand but still this was really fucking harsh it was so funny he basically said you know i you know i well i thought you were you know you're the side chick and she was like what makes me the side chick you are the chick that niggas don't want a wife because you fucked everybody else and she was like well who have i fucked you wrote a book you wrote a book <laughs> you cannot make this shit up something is really wrong with this woman yo um and guys don't get me wrong i don't give a damn about who she's fucked 
what she has done what she does with her body more power to you i do not care i don't care if your body count is 69 i don't give a fuck all right that's your business like i don't chastise women or or men from from being you know free with their bodies if that's what you want to do that's what you want to do but that's not my problem my problem is that she lacks self-awareness and she's playing the victim card she has a part to play in this too because it seems like she was genuinely you know grooming that man and it seems like she's still on the fucking prowl since she was just on a college campus saying hide your sons so that is my issue with her she lacks self-awareness um yeah that's 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 pretty much it guys if you have a little bit of money please stay away from this woman please dear god save yourself a big ass headache all right <sighs> guys let me know what you think in the comments down below do you agree with anything that i said do you disagree with anything that i said please do me a favor and leave a comment i try to answer as many comments as i can so uh yeah i appreciate it leave a comment also do not forget to share like and subscribe like i said before it really helps out the channel and yeah without further ado i'm out it's your boy wise tv peace